Welcome back. So you've just checked in. You get to the gate. You look out on the tarmac and your flight on American Airlines or Southwest or in Europe Ryanair is a Boeing 737 MAX 8 about to take you to your destination. What do you do? I'm really intrigued to know what passengers think about flying on the now recertified Boeing MAX 8. You have to remember that two identical MAX 8 planes crashed with a total loss of life with an identical fault. The system that failed has not gone away. Inherently, the MAX 8 series still needs the MCAS system to push the nose down if the airplane over-rotates due to the size of these enormous leap engines which are being hung under the wings of this hybrid new supposedly 737 and nothing has changed. Okay, they've dinked around with the software and it's been reapproved by the FAA, who were really part of the problem in the first place that should never have allowed the early editions of the Max 8 series to fly. So let's look at what the FAA have done this week. Let's look at Europe. Let's look at the rest of the world and their attitude towards the Boeing Max 8. And I really want to hear from you as a flying member of the public of what your attitude is about boarding a 737 MAX 8. Let's recap. This is from the excellent AV web. Boeing's troubled 737 MAX has been cleared to fly after a tortured 20-month recertification process that saw more than 400 aircraft parked. The approval announcement was expected from the FAA Wednesday morning. However, the aircraft won't be returned to service immediately and airlines that own them will relaunch them into a pandemic battered travel market suffering the lowest airline revenues in decades. The FAA will require modifications to the MAX's controversial MCAS flight control enhancement system and correction of numerous other flaws found during the recertification effort. It will also require type-specific training related to the two accidents that prompted the grounding and recertification. Let's not forget the Lion Air crash off Jakarta and the Ethiopian Airlines MAX 8 crash near Addis Ababa. The fixes for MCAS will include redundant angle of attack sensors, dual computers, and a limitation that MCAS can only activate once rather than continuously as it did on both accident aircraft. Additionally, the system will activate only if the dual sensors agree that it is needed. With more than 400 airline-owned MAXs, parked and another 450 built by Boeing but not delivered, market uptake of the revised model is likely to be rather anemic. So far, only American Airlines has put the MAX back on its schedule. That's on a single Miami to New York route starting December 29th. And remember, this is a world problem. The European Aviation Safety Agency says it's satisfied with the MAX's modifications, but the approval is still pending. So I wasn't going to do this, but I have to. What do I think about the recertification of the Boeing MAX 8? Well, I think it comes down to one word, and that word is trust. Do we now trust Boeing? who really messed up on the first iteration of their Boeing Max 8 aircraft. Boeing CEO left, and they've gone out of their way, of course, to fix the Max 8 problem. Personally, I think they've put a Band-Aid on top of a Band-Aid. The MCAS system wasn't the answer. The answer was a completely different aircraft, or bring back the 757. 
calling the Max 8 series a 737 with these giant leap turbofan engines was never and isn't going to work. Again, personally, my biggest problem is with the FAA. The FAA messed up. They let Boeing, the manufacturer, self-certify a plane which wasn't safe. They got it wrong. And what has really changed to rebuild trust with the FAA? So they've got a new head of the FAA appointed politically. And what he's done is a PR exercise to say, I flew the Max 8 and it's great. But what I'm not hearing is that the FAA has changed, that it will no longer let manufacturers self-certify, that they will check a new model or type of all new aircraft to safety certification standards. That's my humble and personal opinion. I'm very intrigued to know what yours is, both as mechanics, pilots, airline people, and even more so, members of the flying public who are going to see a Max 8 sitting at the gate if we ever get to fly again. The truth is out there.